Back to our conversation to the new Boston City Council president, City Councilor Kim Janey of District 7. Councilor, you went to Reading schools uh, the via the METCO program. Yes. Should that program be expanded, be phased out, find the way it is? What do you think of METCO? Well, I understand why METCO exists, and it was certainly beneficial to me and the many, the thousands of other students that have come through METCO. My focus and my attention has been on Boston Public Schools. That is where the vast majority of the children who live in our city, they attend Boston Public Schools. That's where they go. Um, it is where we have many challenges uh, compared to other towns because we will have a larger percentage of our students who are English language learners or students uh, with disabilities and so my focus is on trying to improve Boston public schools. Well, um, I promised we'd touch on transit here, and that's obviously a big issue. All sorts of issues are on the table, uh, congestion, parking, traffic safety, and so forth. But one issue I feel maybe doesn't get enough attention is the difficulty that many city residents, particularly with limited means, have in finding a way to get out to 128 and 495, where a lot of the good-paying jobs in tech and other industries are located. It can be a nightmare trying to do that. Is that on your radar? Well, I think, again, back to the economic strategy, there are many corporations that are moving into Boston and want to make Boston their home, and it's important that those jobs be available for Boston residents. I would love for people to be able to work right here in our city, um, and then that would certainly help us with congestion uh, in our city, and there are those opportunities, and so Boston residents should have more opportunity to partake in industries that are right here in our city. Um, and it doesn't mean that people couldn't go to other towns. Obviously, they right. can. Uh, one thing to deal with traffic and congestion, though, is improving our public transit system. Um, Boston, we control our, our roads, even though we, we don't control the MBTA. We can certainly build better infrastructure, like dedicated bus lanes. Um, but we can also be strong advocates for an improved public transit system. Mayor Walsh has called for, I believe, a, a city seat on the board. Oh, I think that's important, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I mean, Boston's the economic engine for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. It's a huge hub in terms of public transit, helping people from suburbs come into the city to work and vice versa. And so we need a public transit system that works for everyone. One other thing in our remaining moment here, uh, the NAACP convention is coming to Boston next summer. Mayor Walsh mentioned that in his speech the other night. It's a big moment for the city. Uh, what do you want to s the message to be about Boston that the nation will hopefully absorb as they pay attention to that convention? I, well, I hope uh, we do a good job being a great host and they see how wonderful our city truly is, uh, particularly uh, the neighborhood that I represent. Um, I would love for the convention attendees to come and visit the historic home of the black community here in Boston. Um, I would love for them to really take take in the wonderful elected leadership that we have in terms of uh, people of color in office. So we have at the State House uh, many more folks who are women of color at the State House, certainly on the Boston City Council. Mm -hmm. That is a wonderful thing. What I want us to take uh, in here at home is that we haven't solved everything when it comes to race relations. So even though the convention is coming here, we still have more work to do. Uh, well, thank you very much for being here. Now that you've come, don't be a stranger. Thank come you. back again soon. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. New Boston City Council President Kim Janey. That's all our time. Now it's back to my colleagues for much more WBZ News.